Hey guys, so I'm here to talk to you about giving your life to Christ as well as obedience. People feel as though whenever you give your life to Christ, you have to come as this perfect person who doesn't mess up. And whenever you have issues, you can't go to God because you feel like you're too messed up. So it's so it's so bad that you know we have this misconception that when you go to God, or rather when you give your life to Christ, He wants you to be perfect. The thing is that He makes us perfect. He finishes the work that He started within us. And think about it, why would Jesus Christ die on the cross for perfect people? That doesn't work that way. He died for sinners. So whenever you feel like you can't go to God just because, you know, you feel like your sin is too big, um, there's no such thing as a sin that's too big for God, especially to be able to deliver you from. So you can give him the glory just for that. So don't ever hesitate to give your life to Christ and don't hesitate to, you know, talk to him about the kind of things that you're struggling with. Because nobody said that we're not going to go through tests and trials and temptations. Like, y'all, this is the world, okay? We're going to go through something. Like, just because you're a Christian does not mean that your life becomes easier. In fact, life becomes harder because you are tested in every angle. Like, you can be tested. You can be tested sexually, with music. Like, in any area of life that you were struggling with before, you will be tested. Let's just be honest. But... But the beautiful thing about going through all these struggles is that he gives us, he edifies us spiritually. So he gives us the ability to pass these tests. He literally gives us a way out. So God is so faithful. Not only is he saying, come as you are, you're a sinner and I want to save you and I love you just the way you are. Plus, I'm going to change you if you're willing to allow me. I'm going to change you and make you a better person. I'm going to change you and make you stronger spiritually. I'm going to change you so that these struggles, these trials that you're going through do not break you but they become testimonies so god is really faithful like he's literally giving us the entire package he gives us his son to die on the cross for us and he says you can accept him if you want to it's not even by force because real love does not force anything so you can accept him if you want to and if you are afraid that you're gonna sin and your sins are too much for God or that you're never going to pass these tests, ask God for help. He's our comforter. He's our provider. He knows everything about us. He stitched us in our mother's womb. He knows our beginning to our end. So don't feel like your problems are too much for God. He created you for a purpose and he wants you to live out that purpose, but you have to be willing to allow him and be willing to be a living sacrifice. And yes, that includes giving up things that are of this world. And it's gonna be a struggle, like I said, but he gives us the ability and he gives us an even better package when we let go of the things that we think we need and we think that we need to survive on or the things that we feel as though, you know, if we don't have it, we're gonna die or our life isn't gonna be the same or, you know, we're gonna feel we're, like we're meaningless. He gives you a new identity, a new purpose and everything so he loves us that much so basically just don't feel discouraged to go to God for anything and everything and do not feel discouraged to give your life to Christ because he loves you and he died for you so he's gonna finish the work that he started in you no matter what God will never give up on you so don't give up on him I love you guys and I'll talk to you later